WKXL is a radio station broadcasting a talk radio format. Licensed to Concord, New Hampshire, United States, the station serves the Concord area. The station is currently owned by New Hampshire Family Radio LLC, itself owned by former Senator Gordon J. Humphrey, and features programming from AP Radio. The historic Eagle Hotel housed WKXL's first studios and offices on December 6, 1945, the Federal Communications Commission issued a construction permit to Charles M. Dale, then the sitting governor of New Hampshire, for a new 250-watt radio station on 1,450 kilohertz in Concord. The station signed on June 15, with studios in the historic Eagle Hotel and an adjoining building. After five years, Dale sold WKXL to Capital Broadcasting Corporation, a consortium formed by part owners of Fuyat Manchester, for $50,000 in 1951. Under Capital ownership, the station became a CBS radio affiliate from 1951 to 1959 and again beginning in December 1962. The original principals in Capital sold the company to H. Scott Kilgore, a 20-year radio veteran, for $75,000 in 1954. That same year, Tom Chauvin, who would be instrumental in shaping the careers of Rick Dees and Laura Schlesinger, started his radio career as a disc jockey at WKXL. He was just 12 years old. Another sale followed three years later to Patrick Estes and Joseph Close, owners of WKNE and Keene and WKNY in Kingston, New York. A power increase followed to 1,000 watts during the day, approved in 1961. The station expanded its service to FM when WKXL FM 102. 3, an 80% simulcast of the AM frequency and its middle-of-the-road format, began broadcasting on March 7, 1972. In 1980, Estes, who had bought out close, sold the WKXL stations to a consortium of seven station employees, continuing under the name Capital Broadcasting Corporation, led by Dick Osborne, Don Shapiro and Pat Shalou, in a transaction valued at $1.5 million. WKXL FM, 102. 3 FM DJs, 1989 the 102. 3 FM Signal was largely a repeater of the 1450 AM News Talk broadcast until 1986 when the owners launched the light alternative adult album alternative format. The format was led by program director Renee Blake, production director Taft Moore, on air talent including Dave Dowd, Julia Figueras, Norm Beaker, and Jay Dreves, and featured artists such as The Cure, Poi Dog Pondering, 10,000 Maniacs, The Pixies, The Call, and U2. The station won recognition, best of the best, in 1990 from the National Association of Broadcasters for Community Service with their This Island Earth promotion that focused on environmental awareness with on-air and in-field activities. The Music Zone format continued until 1991 when financial pressures returned the FM signal to a simulcast of the AM broadcast. The WKXL Street Front Studio at Concord Camera in downtown Concord, seen in 2019. In 1999, WKXL and its sister stations were sold by their employee owners to Vox Media Group. Major cutbacks in programming followed, including the cancellation of the station's party line program and live broadcasts of the city council, ratings fell as a result. After three years, Vox sold the station to Warren Bailey, operations manager of WLNHFM in Laconia. Under his ownership, more local programs were restored to the WKXL lineup including a talk show hosted by Arnie Arnizan at New Hampshire Fisher Cats Minor League Baseball. The station was acquired by former New Hampshire Senator Gordon J. Humphrey, alongside business partner George Stevens, for $830,000 in 2004. Former owner Bailey cited the sale as a golden opportunity even though he had owned the station just 18 months. The transaction separated WKXL from operational control of the 102.3 frequency, which consequently dropped its simulcast. WKXL began airing on FM translator w 280 ek in the early 2010s. In 2014, the station acquired it outright from New Hampshire Gospel Radio for $5,000. The 102. 3 FM signal is now broadcasting as wake. Several WKXL broadcasters have been honored by the New Hampshire Association of Broadcasters as Broadcaster of the Year, including Frank Estes, Dick Osborne and Jim Genot. Genot was also the longtime host of Granite State Challenge, a New Hampshire public television high school quiz bowl program. Osborne was also recognized in 2004 by the New Hampshire Legends Hockey Hall of Fame, 
as WKXL broadcast University of New Hampshire Wildcats hockey for many years, along with other WKXL announcers Harvey Smith and Jim Rivers. Genot was honored in 2012 by the University of New Hampshire for his work on UNH sports broadcasts. Thanks for watching.